The Lions start the fourth quarter on the move, but down 15. Here's Scott. Swing back to Sam Laporta, who is in trouble, breaks out of a tackle. But that was a heck of an effort by Kingsley Enagbari to slow him down. Boy, was it. I mean, they had that thing set up perfectly on the little throwback tight end screen. And if Enagbari, if they get him blocked, and they had about three Lions out there in front. Watch. They send him in motion. Play action boot. Look how many Lions blockers there are out there. And they just didn't block them. Here's Goff, over the middle, Gibbs out of the backfield, pop, ball is loose and picked up by Detroit. They say incomplete now. So we never actually had it. Reynolds came in to save the day just in case. It'll be third and long. He took a pop there on that little choice route. Let's take a look. Does he ever establish himself having possession? It's kind of close, no? It's real close. Anthony Johnson was the one who came and put the hit on him, but... He didn't think he established himself with possession. Didn't take a third step or a football move, and they're going to rule it incomplete. Lions have to get to the 24. Goff coming back on the screen. Gibbs looking for a block, and he gets taken down. Another great play. That time, Isaiah McDuffie. And in fourth down, and you figure you got to go here. Yeah, it's kind of the same idea as the play before. This time they used Amon Ross St. Brown in the backfield to throw it to Jameer Gibbs. And two plays in a row, these Green Bay defenders are all over it. Sets up fourth down. It's a big, it's a big gamble here. Yeah, Lions 0 for 3 on fourth down today. Four-man rush. Goff has dropped. Sack ball is out. Packers will take over. Rashawn Gary has his third sack of the day. And the Lions, usually so good on fourth down. 0 for 4 on fourth down today. The pressure for Green Bay continues. Coordinator, his guys. This has been as an impressive defensive performance that we've seen so far here today. Yeah, they've been excellent. Here's a blitz now on Love, who's in trouble, tries to get it off, and it's incomplete. And he slings it out there to Ben Sims. How about the day from Rashawn Gary, Greg? He's got a three-sack game, he's got two forced fumbles, and he recovered that fumble. That was actually a turnover. And so, a three-sack game for Gary, and considering how the year started, recovering from that ACL injury last year, he was on a pitch count earlier in the year, was only playing a handful of snaps each game. And then today on Thanksgiving, three sacks, and he's been an absolute menace. And so now it's Love, another blitz. Picked up Love over the middle, and it is caught. Another tight window, but held on by Malik Heath, who had one catch his whole season. He's got three today. And something you have to notice, the ball placement of Jordan Love today. Look, the, his ability to put the ball on the body of his receivers, KB. The second you extend your hands outside of your framework, the ball is high or it's low. When that guy's draped on your back, that's where you see him rake your hands and break the ball up. But his ability to protect the receiver, contested catch, by putting it on his numbers, he's done that time and time today. Blitz and Love in trouble. Tries to get it out there, and the receiver in the area as Walker came on with the pressure. Reed was near the area, so it shouldn't be grounding and won't be. Hey, you're gonna see. Th all right, they, all right, now there's a late whistle here. They, everyone's going crazy. The Lions are currently running the ball back, but they they eventually got the whistle out there and said it was clearly there's incomplete. No foul for intentional grounding. Receiver number 11 is in the area. Off of 12 please. Yeah, it was clearly incomplete. They brought Tracy Walker on pressure, and originally a nice job there by Patrick, the running back, to pick him up, but Walker kind of spun off the block, and good job there by Love. Twice this drive, facing pressure in his face, getting the ball out. Watch Taylor, he takes it. He kind of spins into it. 
He saved two sacks. That's something Jordan Love is not especially great at, avoiding pressure to sacks. He's done it twice in this possession. Second down on the fake. Going far side of the field. Caught by Heath again, who's having himself a day. Leith Heath, the rookie from Ole Miss. Just loves so calm and collected. He just looks fantastic today. But now a big third down and five. Pressure from Hutchinson, Love gets it away, throws it up and incomplete. He almost had it to Jaden Reed, got his hands on it, could not bring it in. It was a catchable ball, tough catch nonetheless. Yeah, this is a great, a little, they call it a V7 corner. He sells it like he's going to run an over route, and then he kind of comes out the backside as he undercuts it and just goes off the hands of Jalen Reed. And, at least right now, they're going to line up for this fourth down try. It's like a battle of the fourth down decisions right now. Yeah, no one's made a single one. <laughs> they're currently, both teams are over. See if they actually go for it. They faked it earlier and just got a delay. You know what I said earlier about the motions and the shifts. <laughs> yeah, they're doing the same thing. <laughs> Never know. Never know. The Lamb game, number 10 offense. Five yard penalty, fourth down. And so the Packers will bring on the punt team. So Daniel Whelan to punt it away. A couple good stops by this Lions defense. I know the scoreboard looks like they've given up a bunch, but remember the journey of getting to 29 points. Multiple failed fourth downs, a bunch of turnovers. His defense has bowed up when they've had to off sudden change. They have. Fair catch call for. And inside the 10, that's where the Lions will start with 11.52 to go. Thanksgiving, you know, these guys in the booth making us look so good. Kevin Olsen, Ben Alltop, who takes care of everything up here. Nelly, Jeff Nelson, Mitch Smith faking with binoculars. There's nothing to look at right now. You're okay. <laughs> uh, from us to you and your family, happy Thanksgiving. We showed you so many of our hardworking crew today. Lucky to have these guys with us every week. Now the Lions, down by 15 here in the fourth quarter. Looking for another late comeback like they had on Sunday. And Goss in deep trouble. Out of his own end zone, looking to tuck and run. And will do so. And gets wrestled down by Quay Walker. Right around the 14-yard line. Now Goff has been under constant pressure here today. And the turnovers have been a thing. They had... Four turnovers as a team. He threw three interceptions, but for the Lions fans that are not feeling so great right now, they were down 12 with three minutes to go on Sunday, and they won that game. Yeah, and something Dan Campbell continues to stress to his group is the journey getting there sometimes looks a little different, but learning how to win, learning how to pull games out. Saw it last week, and they do it again. Montgomery trucking through the hole on a first down for the Lions. You don't want to make a habit out of having to play from behind and late game heroics, but listen, on your journey to the to the playoffs, you want to win the division. It's going to take sometimes ugly performances. Unfortunately for Detroit, it just seems like it's been maybe a few too many of them here in the last couple weeks that have put them behind the eight ball. A little bit of confusion with personnel coming back on the field. Now they get it right, and it's a first down. Montgomery again, up the middle, sticking with this run. Out across the 23-yard line. Well, we talked about it at the beginning, the Lions with an 8-2 record, the very real chance to be a playoff team, and no one thought that a month exactly. ago. Exactly. How many people thought that was possible just a few weeks back? Here's Goff. Protected this time. Fires a strike. It's caught by Jameson Williams. Still on his feet. Spinning. Williams down to the 40. And he's finally stuck there. So a much needed explosive play for the Lions, and Williams provides it. Yeah, we've talked a lot about Amon Ross St. Brown, Josh Reynolds, Khalif Raymond, but it's 
Jamison Williams, who brings the big play, the downfield speed. Blitnikoff winner dealt with some, some issues early on, injury, suspension, but as they get him acclimated in this offense, he brings an element down the field they haven't had. Yeah, he's got three NFL touchdowns, Greg. They've all been over 30 yards. Exactly. That was a 38-yarder. Here's Goff. Oh, low throw. He's tried to get it to Gibbs, but threw it in. Who had that fumble return touchdown before? Jonathan's wife, someone you may know, Simone Biles, who <laughs> four-time gold medal winner. Now Jordan Love just waits. Lions trying to play comeback kids again. Second down and eight. Gibbs slicing through. Boy, that was well played. I thought there was a seam there, and Nixon hit him out of bounds. Don't see any flag. Crowd wanted one. Yeah, you can hear the crowd. They thought they were going to get a flag there for a late hit. I thought the contact was started in the green yeah, his right foot is still in the green i don't think owens hit him late i think that's a good no call much to the dismay of the fans and they stay no huddle third and five a little fake st brown in trouble buried red all the way it's owens again I mean, how many times have we said his name today i mean he is playing an incredible game, run support, pass coverage. He is all over. This is not an easy play. Not only taking on Penny Sewell in the kickout block, but taking down one of the best run after catch guys in the league, and they're going to go for it again. Fourth and seven. This is no easy one. They're 0 for 4 on fourth down today. They got to get to the five. They got to have it. Goff can't find anyone. Throwing, going end zone. In. Complete looking for Laporta. And again, the Lions denied on fourth down, and the Packers will take over. One more stand on fourth for Joe Barry and this deep possession. Stopped on fourth down, a turnover when got fumbled, but that was on fourth down, and then stopped on fourth down again. Dan Campbell says, I know I'm aggressive, I'll live with it if it doesn't work. It hasn't worked today at all. And now the Packers with a chance to really salt this away, and they give it to Dylan who rides it up to the 20, and a gain of eight on first down. Well, join Fox Sports in giving the gift of opportunity this holiday season by supporting nonprofit partner Sports Biz Careers and its efforts to change the lives of underrepresented high school and college students through the sports business. Visit sportsbizcareers.org to learn more and donate. This Detroit Lions defense cannot afford to give up Really more than probably one first down here. You start giving up multiple first downs, you're going to start having to use some of these timeouts on defense to stop the clock between the two minutes. They got to get off the field. Dylan. And just slamming into bodies. I think he's going to be a little short. Brian Branch came up to make the stop, and now a monumental third down. We're under six minutes left. Yeah, you got. You, I think you got to sell out. I, I think if you're... Aaron Glenn, you're this Detroit Lions defense. I think you have to sell out. They beat you on a play action pass. They try to throw it over your head. So be it. Remember, Matt LaFleur told us yesterday, I'm upset with how conservative I was at the end of Sunday's game. Does he change it here? I think if he thought he was in four down, maybe closer to midfield, would change his approach, but we're going to find out. Love's gonna run it. No, he's gonna keep it. How about that call on Love? Loop the run. He may go the whole way. Sliding down at the 40. He was not conservative, and it pays off for Green Bay and Jordan Love with a huge run. Well, they sold out. They just didn't have the quarterback accounted for, and sometimes there's the perfect call at the right time. They're gonna crash off the edge. Anzalone just, he's thinking Dylan all the way, and the perfect time we've yet to see them use Jordan Love as a true runner and what better time than now longest run for Jordan Love in his career 37 yards on a third and one that may just take the hearts out of this Lions team now 
that's Dylan. And he's hit right away. He's going to lose a yard. Great. Appreciate that he stays true. Don't love the fake punt, but listen, in the critical downs on fourth down, it came down to Green Bay made the plays. The pass rush, the coverage, they made the plays when it counted. And a three, three here by Green Bay makes it a three-score game, and I'm not sure there's enough time. Patrick Taylor on the carry, not much there. And time ticking away, about 337 left in this one now. Let's see if the Lions use a timeout. They do not. Yeah, so right now, the entire approach of Matt LaFleur, you're up by 15. That's still a two touchdown game, depending how you want to calculate the two point conversion 50 50. They've got to pick up enough yards here. Yes, a first down would be great, but at least put us in a reasonable field goal try. You put this thing to 18. Now it's three touchdowns with three minutes to go. Play clock winding down, and now the Packers will call a timeout. Didn't want to take. The delay. Sean Payton as the Broncos. Everyone thought they were done. Not so fast. And this has been, I think, a stunner to a lot of people. The Lions coming in, their best record since 1962. This city was just so excited for this one. And the Packers have come in and played maybe their best game of the year as we have an injury. And there is Alex Anzalone, who did not make it off the field and see him being tended to by trainers. This is a guy that's been through a lot in his career injury-wise. He's had three different shoulder surgeries. And maybe having his best year of his career this year, his seventh year in the league. Well, with a 10 to Anzalone, hopefully he's okay. He's not going to put that pressure on Jordan Love, but that's the hope. And I'll tell you what, as this season's gone on, man, this kid is rolling. Hey, kid, 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 kid. Straight man, there's no safety in the middle of the field. Blitz coming, third down, Love floats one. Back foot, it is underthrown and incomplete. He tried to get Watson, but didn't have enough mustard on it. And so now Green Bay sends the punt team out. Yeah, Benito Jones, they went zero pressure, and Benito Jones, number 94, he was bearing down on Love. You saw him, he kind of threw that off his back foot, or else he had a shot there on Watson to put a dagger in this one. It keeps it. It's, you know, a 15-point game, two touchdowns and a two-point. So they've got the two-minute, they've got all three timeouts. So Detroit's got to go fast. But again, just look back to last week. Very similar situation, very similar time on the clock remaining. Whelan's punt is a great one. Fair catch inside the 10 by Raymond. And so the Lions have a lot of work to do. 246 to play. Down 15 all three timeouts. And you're right. Last week is a little different. They were down 12, not 15. But they were down 12, same time on the clock. And they ended up winning that game. Can they do it again? Your goal here is as an offense, you always want to take your timeouts on defense. So knowing you need two possessions, how fast can you go down and score? You'll use the two minute to stop the clock. That way, if you don't get an onside kick and you have to go on defense, you can use your timeouts to try to buy that second possession. Stunt coming. Goff sees it underneath St. Brown. Has the catch, has the first down, out of bounds. Out across the 20. Good start for Detroit. Jared Goff today has been pressured nearly half the times he's dropped back. He's lost three fumbles. One of them has been returned for a touchdown by Jonathan Owens. It's Jordan Love and this Green Bay defense. Can the Lions flip the script here? Blitz coming. It's picked up. Near side, Laporte has got a catch and wisely turns it upfield and out of bounds across the 30. A good start here early. Green Bay is going to want to try as much as they can without getting soft inside as they want to protect the edges, tackle Detroit inbounds. Get this thing under the two minute warning. Don't allow Detroit to run too many offensive plays on the plus side of the two minute. Get it underneath it. Now if they want to stop the clock, it's got to be with one of their timeouts. 
Four man rush. Still some pressure. Goff delivers incomplete. Reynolds kind of behind him there. And third and four. It looked to me like he wanted Reynolds to kind of settle in that. That's why the ball ended up kind of being behind him. He's thinking zone, settle, man, run away, and just got a little mixed up. It's been the kind of day it's been, right, for these Lions? Yeah, just missed. Just a lot of just misses. Third down. Goff pumps, throws, gives. And he's not. Ooh, it's close. That second effort, very, very close. I'll see where they put the ball down, but the clock is running. And he is short. Well, this is where every team in the league wishes they had Philly's brotherly shove. They're going to be in the gun here, so obviously that's not going to happen. This is the game. Fourth down. Goff taps it, throws it, and the drive continues. That'll be a first down to Gibbs, and that'll take us down to the two-minute warning. So great every single week of what they do, and better than all, they're just great people. No. Thanks, guys. We love you. Lions two minutes ago, down by 15. Looking for a Thanksgiving miracle, and underneath, and that'll run the clock to LaPorter. Going to pick up five yards, or they need more than that. Three timeouts at their disposal. Yeah, you got to imagine at some point you take a shot. Give Jamison Williams, give him a deep ball, let him go. That's what got them back in at the quick strike last week in the come from behind. Four man rush. Over the middle, there is Gibbs. Looking like he's trying to sprint out of bounds, but he's trying to pick up the first down. Did he get there? He's not at the first down, and they got to run the clock. Oh, I think they stopped it. I think they said he got out of bounds. Oh, they're winding it now. Yeah. Saying he did not get the ball out of bounds. So this is going to stay winding. His knee was in bounds. Coming up next, State Farm post game show. The $10,000 donation will be given the NFL to youth or high school football program in the choice in honor of John Madden and his legacy. Here's Scott. Firing far side. Now the first down. St. Brown is definitely out of bounds. So the first and 10 with 110 to go. So now. Let's look at this NFC North. Lions, look, they're still in a good place, obviously, if they don't come back here, eight and three. Minnesota's been playing well, but Green Bay, if they could go to five wins, there's no reason why they can't be a playoff team. Minnesota currently holds the final spot. And for Detroit, or for Green Bay, they've got KC next, obviously won't be easy, but then the Giants, Tampa, Carolina, after that. Yeah, just think if they can get healthy. I know. Here's Goff. More pressure on him. Just struggling to get rid of it, and it's low and incomplete. You know, just think if this Green Bay team could just figure out how to get some guys back healthy, especially on defense and running back. And again, we've seen this time and time again today. Ooh. Wow, he's got him by the back of the collar. Just hope he's all right. He went down so awkwardly wow, there. Wow, see his left leg got in there. I don't know why that's not a horse collar. Determine if he's outside the pocket or not, but those are the ones they're trying to take away from hits on the quarterback. And they're gonna have to start throwing this ball in the middle of the field. Forget the timeouts. Just working the boundary too much here. It's taking too much time. A penalty, and so this may be moving back even more as that throw is incomplete. Yeah, they're just running out of gas now. Holding number 77 offense. 10 yard penalty, second down. So he told you about the Packers' upcoming schedule and their chance and path to a wild card spot, which they clearly have. The Lions look like this. They'll still be in first place today. Got the Saints, Bears, Broncos, two with Minnesota. Could end up doing Green Bay a favor at the end of the year. You never know. And then Dallas is the big game for them. And Detroit, even with a loss today, look, they're still in play for that top seed in the NFC. But this one's going to sting if they don't get a miracle here. Second down in 20. Goff underneath. St. Brown is wide open. Looking to make a move. And does. It's a great move as a first down and gets out of bounds with 52 seconds left. Yeah, nice job there by St. Brown. He knew Ballantyne was trying to keep him in bounds. He really overplayed the sideline. Watch 35 Ballantyne. He's overplaying the sideline. Think advice tackle. And Amon Ross St. Brown is so good with the ball. I mean, he's still got their three timeouts. Just think they have to still be willing to throw the ball in the middle of the field, especially with these two high safeties. 
chunk plays right now are more important than getting out of bounds. This time, Goff has time. Let's it rip over the middle. Caught by Raymond, and he holds on. There you go. There's the big play. He's going to have to call a timeout, and they will. Yeah, there you go. That, you know, early on, you want to try to save them, but now you're getting down to the point where yards are more important. they got to score quick here, and that was a chunk they needed. Yeah, so that's where we got Lions still hoping to pull off this uh, late rally. They need a lot of help here, and we say again, happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. Do you feel differently about Green Bay now after watching this game than you did coming into today? I, I do, and I, and I think the scary thing is, as these young guys on offense really start getting their feet underneath them, we saw Christian Watson break out. Jordan Love is playing the best ball, clearly, of his young career. Yeah. But then think of the guys they have coming back who didn't play today on defense. Jair Alexander, Devondre Campbell. I mean, they start getting the veteran guys back, especially on defense. This is a team that's going to find themselves in that playoff picture at least for a wild card. Yeah, and they think that Aaron Jones with that knee injury hopefully won't be out long. It was feared it could be a long time out. Now they don't think so. Right now they're trying to close out the Lions with 46 seconds left. And we get a whistle. Now the Packers call a timeout. Well, if you just turned us on, maybe you just got done. Who has just been so good in his Thanksgiving debut. Love three touchdowns today, coming off a career best game last week. 268 yards. Rashawn Gary has three sacks. That's a career high for him. That's a story. 46 ticks left. Goff over the middle. It is caught for the touchdown. Josh Reynolds, there's a penalty flag. So wait a second. And it looks like it was offside. This is going to count. So the Lions aren't done just Outside, yet. Outside, number 97, defense. Heavily declined, results of the play. Touchdown. Yeah, this is where we talked about this middle. They're playing too high safety zone. Just a little one-on-one -on -one ricochet route there off Quay Walker, the Mike Backer, and ball's on time in rhythm, and he's able to protect the, protect the throw by being on time. Now they'll go for two, try to make this a seven-pointer, and obviously we'll have an onside kick coming up here in a little bit. Well, need this to even have the onside kick mean anything. Got to go quick. Goff over the middle, fires, and the two is good. So, seven-point game, here comes the onside kick. On the board and get across the goal line, I'm going to stick it on you. And again, well-timed balls. They've come alive in these no-huddle situations. Just have to wonder if it's a little too little too late. Well, the Lions staying alive, at least for now. Laporta gets in on the two. Reminder to State Farm post game coming your way next. The John Madden player of the game presentation as well. You remember, they had to use after the deep dig route completion a few plays ago. Detroit did have to take one of their timeouts, so it pretty much all comes down to this. They can't stop it three times. So if Green Bay recovers it, they'll take three knees, and that'll be it. Lions are 0 for 1 on onside tries this year. This will be Jack Fox who kicks off for them. His opportunity. Got to go 10 yards. Squibber. And Jaden Reed gets on it. The Packers. Illegal formation, number 21 of the kicking team left early prior to the kick. That five-yard penalty will be added to the end of the play, first down. Yeah, with the new rules, they've made getting an on, you know, recovering an onside kick so difficult. With where they make you line up, you can't overload. You have to have a certain amount of guys outside the numbers. You can't leave until it's kicked. They've really changed what we're accustomed to seeing. And what, what a win on the road, short week. Bunch of your top players not playing. You got to tip your cap. Matt LaFleur, this Green Bay organization, what a great job getting this group ready to come play this road game on Thanksgiving. Clearly the win of the year. And you look at Green Bay, they've now won three of their last four games. First win against the Lions since week two of 2021. It's been a while there. And I think if you're a Packers fan at home today, you're thinking, oh, maybe we do have our quarterback of the future. So you're telling me there's a chance. Love sensational 268 yards three touchdowns today 
And the Green Bay defense, the story, and an upset here in Detroit on Thanksgiving. 29 to 22, the final.